right good morning YouTube so today we are looking at the Simply Sewing magazine now I subscribed to this magazine um, when I was tempted by the free gift they were offering what which was a actual sewing machine would you believe it yes it was the Gemoni 219s and I'll put a picture up in the corner so you can see um, what it was that I subscribed to. And I think it was about £104 for the year. You got the free machine, which arrived within like three days of me subscribing. So um, I'll put a card up in the corner. So if you want to um, watch my unboxing of that machine, um, you can. And um, it's been now three and a half weeks and the first magazine has arrived. So I thought we'd have a look and see what's inside um, and what you get for your um, ten, roughly um, £9 a month, um, apart from the free gift, which was amazing. So here is this month's Simply Sewing magazine. And this is June 2022 and it's issue 96 and it comes in a white A4 envelope. Now you get um, three free patterns with it and the first one is um, this bag. Um, it's a Bristol backpack and um, I think it's sort of an easy supposedly easy pattern to um, get you into bag making so um, I'm not sure what fabric it suggests um, it suggests heavy water resistant fabric so um, and it even says where you can get it from minerva.com so um, yeah so you could actually um, make it exactly as they show you can see the fabric's quite thick so uh, hopefully the sewing machine can cope with that sort of um, thick fabric the next pattern is this maggie set and it's um versatile t-shirt it comes with long sleeves cap sleeves and um i think it's all the same length it's just this one's a tunic and one's a top so i presume that's slightly longer length in the body so, um, and then there's the dress version, which um, I think this is probably made out of jersey, is it? What fabric does it suggest? Uh, yeah, cotton lycra, cotton spandex, cotton jersey. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's uh, a stretch fabric. So I presume it's, have, it's got two, two way or four way stretch fabric. So that is a stretch fabric. So, um, you would uh, have to uh, be careful how you put that together, maybe on the overlocker so that the seams would stretch as you pull it over your head. Otherwise, you'd be ripping open all the um, seam lines. And the third pattern, which I'm quite excited about, is this uh, Amenia dress set. And um, that looks... Uh, that, I like this one with a longer length. Um... I think that one, she's probably got it too big. But this one's more fitted. You could actually probably put a couple of ties at the side and then you could tie it to draw it in a bit um, if it came up. They even do a tunic, so um, a top, which looks quite nice. So I think um, I'm not a fan of um, where it goes up at the front, so I'd probably uh, cut it to be the same as the back. So it had that roundness at the front and the back. So, um, but yeah, and that I presume is from Fine Cotton's Visco Silk. So, oh, and there's a picture of the blouse. Yeah, see, it comes up quite high here. So I would probably cut the front to be come down like the back does so that it's scooped down. But yeah, so three very good patterns. So I'm pleased about that. There's also um, this perfect fit leaflet and um, that talks about getting um, the perfect fit for your body shape how to measure um, before you start so you know what um, size to go for so, and some tips on doing darts things like that so um, yeah 
I'm quite uh, pleased with that. So let's get inside the magazine. So it's got a picture of um, the lady on the front wearing uh, the Amenia set dress. So as usual, um, tells you what's inside. Advert, of course. Keeping up with Sewing Bee, so pin board for inspiration. Other articles. Um, looks like um, you could get a dress form as a free gift if you subscribe from now on. So that looks quite a nice dress form, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so um, and they're no longer doing the sewing machine, but you could get a dress form. So uh, that's definitely one to think about. Uh, you can win some fabric. And here is the Amenia set. And here they go into detail about the free pattern that they've given you. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so they talk about here, so they don't actually, uh, and they show it sewn up. So a few tips and tricks, rec recommended fabric, and stuff like that. And then there's a pattern review. I presume it's of this outfit. So we've got more um, patterns for everyday body. You can see there. It's quite a lot of reading in here. Uh, here we have a um, just a sewing room pattern for um, I think it's a book cover, and also um, a seat where you set your sewing machine where you can put your needle rulers in or pencils. Gosh, she's got a lot of rulers there. Must admit, I can never find a ruler. I need to buy a load. Um, a bag, I think that's how to make the pin cushion and a project bag. So that's quite nice. I quite like that project bag. That's good. It's got a zip in. That's handy. So yes, yeah, so it, it gives you all the instructions on how to make these things, which is um, quite handy. Then we've got um, making with pride. So colourful designs. Uh, Festival of Quilts. Um, you could win some tickets. So I think that's the 18th to the 21st of August at the NEC Birmingham. And then we're talking about a weekend wardrobe, which is um, it's a t-shirt. Might actually be the... Um, pattern that came free with it and then you can go back and buy um, if you go on their website you can buy previous free patterns um, if there was one you particularly liked I've actually made the spring dress um, which I bought when I bought a one-off pattern one-off um, magazine from the shop and uh, that's a lovely um, pattern I used uh, I'll put a picture up here of uh, the dress. I used the fabric from my So Haley Jane box at the time. So, um, and we have a pat uh, pattern for a tie. Now they talk about the Maggie set, which is um, the other three pattern that you got. And um, so there, that's the tunic length. That's the dress length. And then that's the t-shirt length. I quite like the tunic length, actually. Some more articles. A lot of reading. Uh, rainbow coasters. So I think that tells you how to do that. So they're really, they're just patchwork coasters. You could make them out of any scraps. I mean, um, 
you could just uh, do slightly different colours of scraps that um, match your lounge or wherever, or your kitchen, wherever you might use them. My kitchen is sort of um, a yellowy green, so I would do um, bits of fabric, maybe the green there and the yellow, but I wouldn't have the orange and blue. So, But yes, you could make uh, your own coasters, so that's quite good. It's always handy, you can never have enough coasters, cups of teas. And here is a, um, I think this is shorts, yeah. So suggesting how you make um, shorts Use, um, using, um, drafting a pattern from a, a pair you've already got in your cupboard. And then we have bags. As there, it <coughs> shows you how to embroider a bag, um, which is quite nice. I like the heart. And then, of course, we have the um, free pattern for the backpack. And then um, how to make a Nemo goldfish. Um, embroidery on your um, jacket. There's some previous back issues that you could order if you wanted to with their free patterns. Um, then it's here, it's got a sewing guide, all the things you need. And there's um, more about um, measuring yourself properly and how to use a pattern, the markings and um, Tra tracing patterns and machine needles what um, the different ones are for different types of fabric which is quite handy and then we have the templates for um, I think that's the goldfish and it talks about the perfect fit leaflet that came with it and then it's saying what's in next next month's issue so um, which will be out on sale on the 7th of July. So yeah, so all in all, um, a lot of reading to do. So I'm gonna have to sit down and wade through that. But I'm very pleased with the patterns. Um, don't know if I'll do the bag, but uh, these two, definitely. I can see me wanting to do that dress with one of my um, fabrics from my So Haley Jane boxes that I've built up. Um, yes, and maybe the tunic of that. So yes, well, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.